In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up the basic structure for a customer journey map in the online tool called Mural. Let the show begin. Hi, I'm Mark and welcome to the Service Design Show. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a custom journey map in Mural. And if you've ever created custom journey maps, uh, you know that we basically do most of our journey mapping in workshops on post-its. And if you need to go beyond the workshop and beyond the post-its, you want to find ways to digitize the journeys. Uh, and find ways to update and share them and post it just don't work very well. So there are a few tools available that we can use that allow us to actually um, use custom journey maps on a day-to-day -day practice, practice because that's what we want. We don't want to use a map as a pretty image. We want to use it as a tool that we can use day-to-day -to, -day to drive customer-centric change. And in this video, we're going to look at Mural, uh, which you can find at mural.co uh, as a tool to actually digitize the map. And I'm going to show you how to create the basic structure in a few steps uh, in Mural for a customer journey map. So this video is not about what is a customer journey map or some of the best practices on how to actually create one. We have a whole playlist of videos on that, which you can find over here. This video is really about setting up the basic structure in Mural. And this is the first video in a series of two. In the second video, I'll be talking about the more advanced features of Mural and give a little bit more of a review and share when I think Mural is the right tool for the job. So let's just jump in. I'll start sharing my screen with you and start building a customer journey map in Mural. So here I am, I'm logged in into my Mural dashboard and we're going to create something. The final result will look something like this. Um, I call this the mother of all maps. It's uh, quite simple, quite straightforward. And if you manage to create this, you'll be able to expand and create uh, any other map that you probably need. So let's go back and just uh, start from scratch. Mural offers a lot of templates, but we're going to start basically from scratch. So we're going to create a new mural and it offers uh, a lot of templates. We're not going to use a template. I think there's even a template for which they call service blueprints, which it's really close to our customer journey map, but we're going to start with a blank mural. Let's go. Now let's give it a name. Uh, going to the zoo. That's the journey that we want to map. Um, the mother of all maps. That's what we're going to create the simple structure and the simple structure has four lanes. We're going to create four basic lanes and um let's see we can add shapes and we're going to add a shape um and we're going to call this shape phases this will be our top lane and then we're going to just copy it and then we're going to call this customer activities if you want to know why i'm making or why these are my choices for the lanes that i'm creating really check out some of the other videos on customer journey mapping and we're explaining everything there so we're going to uh, the next one will be needs and the final lane that i want is uh emotions uh emotions so now we've got uh four basic uh the starting point for our lanes, uh, Mural offers the ability to uh, give different colors. So uh, let's let's just do that really quickly, so that you okay, we can distinguish them more easily. Customer activities. Let's make this. Uh, so this is already what you can do to separate the different lanes. All right. And uh, yellow doesn't work really well, but we get the idea. Uh, purple, I don't like purple. Let's do red, red and white. So we've got the starting point for our four uh, lanes. That was pretty simple. Now, the next thing we want to do is we want to add cards. We call them cards and basically cards will be uh, the things that represent what happens 
in the different lanes. So let's say the face, let's do the uh, very basic. Before going to the zoo, all right, uh, at the zoo, and maybe we're going to make this really simple after. Now, um, we've got our phases lane. If we want to um, uh, distinguish it a little bit more from uh, the other ones, we could do something like, I'm going to select this. And what I like to do is add an, just a box. Let's make it a little bit bigger. We'll need that in a minute. Uh, add a box and remove the outline and just give it a little gray backdrop and right click mouse and send it to back uh, let's change the background color to gray so now that we have a little bit of um, uh, different we can separate it from the other lanes a little bit more clearly all right so we've got our faces lane, right? And the next thing we want to do is we've added lanes, we've added cards. The next thing uh, we want to do is basically duplicate uh, some of these cards. And the easiest way I find uh, that you can do that in um, Mural is by just selecting a few of the boxes and uh, you can just uh, holding the option key on your Mac, uh, just duplicate them. Oh, come on, yeah. And we rather not have the text. So let's do it like this. So customer activities, that would be the second thing we would like to start mapping, right? Um, and now we have one card in the face. Doesn't make sense. So let's say this would be before and then we need to buy tickets, right? That could be um, an activity or the next thing, I don't know. Um, park park the car now as you'll notice park the car should be uh, part of the before phase so we need to realign these cards well that is pretty easy we can just drag and drop them and we can expand this one for the sake of simplicity we're not going to uh, add more cards here but you get the uh, you get the idea. So for, for the needs, we can, can add a few more boxes and then we can continue doing like that. Now, how about the emotion uh, lane? What, what, that's the typical curved line you see, happy smiley faces or sad, sad faces. How are we going to do that in Miro? Um, the easiest way I found to do that is, let's send this to back. We first need a baseline. So we've still got uh, the shapes open. We're going to add a line and we're going to add a line holding shift. Now we've got a line and we're going to, what I found quite uh, useful is to actually lock the line and also lock the background. So now I can select them and now I can't move them. And the next thing we want to do is basically we want to create the um, up and down experience. I don't know. Then we're going to just grab a new line and let's make this line red and um, just drag it. And this is a trick I found. If you hold the C button, the uh, letter C, it will uh, start linking uh the lines together it makes an arrow but uh we can i'll show you that we can pretty easily change it so now we can select uh all the lines uh, we can say everything should be red and everything should be a straight line <clears throat> basically this is how you would set up the curved line and we can of course continue doing that now What's next? What would, we, what would we like to add in our journey? What would we like to add in a map? Usually you want to add some form of visual cues. So that could be like, uh, for instance, we have the parking uh, example. 
this is quite neat what Mural does. They have like the icons library over here and you can easily search for parking, uh, which is quite cool. And then we can just drag and drop the icon over here. And maybe we have buy tickets. Let's see if we can find something with tickets. There we go, tickets. So it makes, Mural makes it quite easy to actually visualize uh, what we have here. My goal is not to make the most pretty map here, just to show you how to create the basic structure. And the same applies for the emotions. We could do set. If we, do we have a set icon? Oh, this looks really like a set icon. And we can continue doing that. So uh, I think the icon feature is quite, quite useful. Now, the next thing you'd want to do pretty quickly is to add some metadata data to the cards. For instance, um, buying tickets, usually you want to add some details that could be photos, it could be additional evidence from research, it could be a link to something. Um, that's not really easily doable in Mural. At least I haven't found an easy option. There, there is the ability to um, to add, where is it? Uh, add a sticky note or add a comment. But uh, if we add a comment, we found this in research, research field research. All right, save. So let's see if we can hide this, actually edit, delete, collapse. There we go. This would be a way we can add meta data to uh, our cards and then we can open it and uh, it basically shows uh, a chat uh, or revision history here which which can be pretty useful now the next thing we would like to do to our cards is usually add like i said some photos some images and uh, just as with the icon library uh, mural also has an image library which can be useful. Let's search, let's search of course for a cat because that's what we do on the internet. There we have an image of a cat, pretty cat. Um, can resize it. The only thing is that I haven't found a way how to add this as a, as meta data. So the ability to hide or basically add detail levels to a card. Um, maybe it's possible. I haven't found it. Um, and you can uh, make this cat link to um, google.com, which is of course the most useful thing to do. But there, it's hard to actually add a photo to, to this card to attach it, attach, it, uh, attach it over there. So this is it. This is how you create the most basic structure for a customer journey map in Mural. If you know how to do this, you'll be able to expand it to your specific needs. In the next video, we'll look at the more advanced features and also um, discuss if Mural is the right tool for your project. So check the video out over here and I'll see you there.